it's really, and we know really what they're trying to do. It's about power and control. And this is really the, the, the end of a multi-decade path of accumulating power in the hands of central planners. I've called this already 20 years ago that we have this problem of a regulatory moral hazard. Whenever we have another financial crisis, the central planners say, oh, it's because we didn't have enough power and they're getting more powers. And they did this each and every time. And that was, I warned this about this uh, so many years ago and again and again. And then I warned before the 2008 crisis, when this comes um, and we have the next big banking crisis, international banking crisis, we will give the central bankers even more powers. And that's exactly what they did. So having uh, actually accumulated a dismal performance record, you know, in terms of their policies, and now since 2020, they've created inflation intentionally, as it turns out, you know, the BlackRock plan being implemented by the Fed, even hiring BlackRock, and it was all intentionally to create inflation. We want to reward them now for these decades of uh, of failure to give them uh, by giving them the biggest control and power tool in in human history is this really what we want to do yeah no absolutely not we must stop it uh, dead in its tracks because this is exactly what they want it's all about power and control as you said uh now perhaps the most concerning part of this all to me is what you mentioned on a recent interview you did with Ivor cummings uh you said that since 2015 it's been the elite's plan to have the cbdc integrated into humanity via a microchip implanted under each person's skin can you tell us a little bit more about how you discovered this plan and is that truly our soon future? Of course, you know, um, if you look into this, you will find that there is this movement called transhumanism, which is all about implanting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like the lady said, yeah, that, that is your soon future. You know, that's exactly what the wicked Elisa Esau, all right, the Dukes of Edom, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, that's exactly what they want to happen. And it is going to happen, you know. Uh, because the Most High ordained it to happen, all right, in the heavens before before the foundation of the world, He ordained it. This would come to pass. That's what He decreed. You know, the evil E, you know, would want to turn. You know, especially you Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the American Indians are the Lord's chosen people. Especially, all right, uh, for you Israelites to 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 put a sea up uh, in you. To, to, to digitally mark you with that karagma. All right. They, they already got the, 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 the digital grid set up, man. Okay. This is right around the corner. Before I say anything else, before I go any further, all right, I want to stop. I want to give all glorification, honor, and praise unto Yahweh, Baha Semi, Yahweh Sai, Baha Sem, Rakakwadash, Kohaloyam, Wahawad, La, Yahweh, Baha Sem, Yahweh Sai, Baha Sem, Rakakwadash. Double honors always do unto the venerable apostles of the great millstone, along with the elder bishops who rule and teach the church well, because that's what they do. And salutations to you, Akim, out there laboring on the four corners of the earth. All right, preaching, teaching, and prophesying the right way on the highways and hedges, waking up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, on down to all those among Israel who have believed our report, the men, women, and children believers. They, too, are going to be delivered. Out of this hour of temptation, which is coming, all right, upon the earth to try, to try, so like you, to try all them that dwell on the earth. Okay. Matter of fact, let's, let's get that. Yeah. Another MOTB update. I seen a video. Um, I didn't watch it. I haven't watched it yet, but, um, uh, the elder brother out there in, in, in Vegas, GMS Vegas sit downs. Uh, 144, I believe, is is his page. Just type just type in GMS Vegas sit downs. You'll pull him up. Uh, the Elder Karataza, I believe, and um, and then I, I seen uh, again. I haven't watched it yet, but uh, he uh, he went into this interview. All right, between uh, One American News and uh, Professor Richard Werner, who's who's breaking it down. He's talking about the MOTB more than a lot of Israelites out here, man. More than a lot of so-called elders, even among Israel, you know, <laughs> any, any, anyone who 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 sees himself as a man of the Lord that's not dealing with this, that's not making this like priority number one, you know, is is a deceiver. 
is a liar and a deceiver and a false prophet and a grievous wolf, man. All right. Um, I believe the elder apostle Tahar also went into this video uh, based on a thumbnail. So I'm going to have to watch those two videos to see, you know, uh, to, to, you know, obviously, you know, to be edified, man, you know, go on. You got to watch the guy. You got to watch the elders and apostles on a daily basis, man. All right. Um, anyway, I said I was going to get see revelation going into the hour of temptation, man. All right. It's, it's, it's here. I mean, I mean, there's, it's no more, you know, um, some 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 far out conspiracy theory okay <laughs> mainstream media is going into it you know you got christian pastors talking about the motb calling it for what it is being the being the uh micro c hub karagma okay it's here uh revelation chapter three getting right to the point in verse 10 because thou hast kept the word of my patience I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. He's, he's going to keep his men first and foremost. All right. He's going to keep his servants, the prophets from this hour of temptation. All right. Protect them from this hour of temptation. All right. From all, you know, help them pass. Okay. This, this last and, and final test. This is the final exam, man. Okay. You got, it, it all comes down to this, what you decide to do here. Is gonna either make you or break you, man. If you're one of the Lord's elect, you're gonna you're gonna make it. You're gonna you're gonna endure. You're gonna pass the test. You know you're gonna overcome the the, the, the temptations. Obviously through the power and spirit of you, how will you shot by Hashem or Okay, because the, the Lord is gonna put a spirit. All right, uh, uh, more specifically the Holy Spirit Rakakwadash on His men to be able to endure this. Okay. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right, so this is going to be a trial, man. Now, you're going to have uh, the two-thirds of Israel over here in America, all right? The, uh, the friends of the world are right? those who have rejected the gospel of the kingdom of Yahweh, Bashem, Yashad. They're going to they're gonna take it. It's not even really going to be a, a question for them, right along with Esau. All right, and, and 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 you other idiot heathens out here who haven't gone back to your own country, you know, because this place is is finished, man. <laughs> it's over. All right, so let's keep on playing this. Um, essentially, electronic devices into the human body, in my view, wholly and entirely ethically unacceptable. It's a violation of human dignity. Where is the human dignity here? They sell it as an improvement you know this will be and you've got all these sort of hollywood productions to to support this idea you know these will be superhumans they'll be enhanced they'll be you know able to think faster they'll be able to access the internet uh, by just you know using the, the thought yeah these are these hold on let's get another scripture yeah you know evil he's got a god complex you know he thinks he's he thinks he's the most high He's trying to uh, to become immortal, you know. He's trying to escape judgment and live forever, but that, it's not going to work, man. These are them lying signs and wonders he's going to do, man. You know, he's going to he's going to cause the, the the lame to walk. He's going to cause the blind to see. He's going to cause the deaf to hear. All all through this technology that was given to him on the left hand side, man. Okay, all through these C H I P S. All right. Um. The only ones who are going to achieve immortality, all right, it starts with the elect, man, the 144,000. Let's get this in. Um, hold on. Um, bear with me just a second. Yeah. Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse seven for the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Even when Paul was writing, all right, even when Paul was addressing these Israelites, okay, and in, in, in Thessalonica who were repenting, you know, he was talking about the mystery of iniquity already at work, man. You know, even even going back to to the Herodian dynasty, man, them Edomites two thousand years ago was was uh, uh thinking about, you know, uh, uh 
a NWO, man, and how to bring that to pass. Okay? And now we're here. You know, 2,000 years later. They're not now they're not gonna bring it to pass the way they have envisioned, but they're gonna come close. But they're, 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 they're gonna, like I always bring out in videos whenever I go into this topic, they're gonna be violently interrupted, you know, <laughs> by them ICBMs. <laughs> All right, it says, For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work, only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, all right, Esau, all right, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Because, yeah, the Lord is coming back. Yahweh Shah is coming back with the angels. He's going to raise up those who have died doing the work first. All right, 1 Thessalonians 4 goes into that. Okay, and he's going he's gonna to be he's gonna be coming back during the midst of World War III as those nukes are flying. All right, that's the, that's, that's the brightness of his coming, man. He's going to, you know, these elites are going to be, you know, yanked out of their bunkers, you know. And, um... They're going into slavery, man. They go. The Bible talks about them being men of continual employment in Ezekiel, the 39th chapter. All right. But yeah, that the wicked has been revealed, Esau. Okay. It says, um, verse 9, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Right, man. You know, he, he, Esau is going to be doing signs and lying wonders, man. Okay. Again, that's what this, that's what his whole transhumanist agenda, that's what it's all about. Okay. These are, he's going to be doing lying signs and, excuse me, he's going to be mm -hmm, doing, doing signs and lying wonders. So like, yeah, get it right. He's going to be performing signs and lying wonders with it, with, with what, with all this technology, with all his technological advancement, you know? I'm going to keep going. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, verse 10. Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, Yahweh shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Okay, so the, the Lord has put a delusional spirit on the two thirds out here, man. Esau is already delusional. But the Lord's got, you know, Jake out here delusional as hell as well. You know? They uh they they believe in all these lies, man. They still believe in sleepy creepy. They still believe in Kun Mala Harris. They still believe in the in the in the Maxines. Okay? They still believe in, in his, you know, pseudoscience, you know, which Paul, you know, describes as science falsely so called in 1 Timothy the sixth chapter. You know? Yeah, they believe in lies out here, man. It says that they all might be damned, verse 12, who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Yeah. That's the two-thirds again. That's the two-thirds. They have pleasure and unrighteousness. All right. And then let's see. You know, hold on. Let's go to, uh, before we go back here. Well, I'll get Revelation 13, Lord willing, at the end. Let's go back here. Let's go. Um, Elon Musk is, um, you know, has invested a lot in this project of brain implants. So, you know, all that is actually happening. We, we know about that and there's experiments. And we know also in some countries like Sweden, uh, microchip implants have been used uh, now for quite a few years. Um, you know, it's a little a grain of rice between your um, your thumb and your um, and your fingers, and um, that's used as your your wallet, your passport, your door key um, to start uh, various you know equipment and, and your computer, whatever you want. Um, and so they're selling this as being very convenient. Come on, I mean. I mean, if you think about it, the, the benefits and convenience are so minimal, it's a joke, really. But, of course, that is a, a massive step towards total control. Now, I, I um, when I inquired about what the central bankers have been doing on the front of, you know, um, strengthening their, their digital controls, um, I mean, you know, one of the central bankers explained to me that, well, the technology is there. And one of the, the leading central banks pushing this forward uh, already around 2015 had the prototype ready. In fact, I think it was more than a prototype. It's essentially ready to, to be rolled out. And I think really what, what happened then was um, they were thinking, okay, what's the right moment to do it? Because they do realize it is a big step, but it's so important to them that they didn't want to make a mistake um, by doing it in the wrong moment and having people immobilize against this. 
They're going to do it when you howl, bust them out, shout, and makes them do it. That's just it. Because they know, these elites know, because these elites know that the Lord is coming back. Why do you think they've invested over the years trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars in the underground bunkers, man? And not just bunkers, they, they got plans. These, these lunatics is talking about going into the heavens, man. You know, going out into space and colonizing Mars and shit. No, they they, they talking about, you know, uh, fighting the Lord upon his return. So they know the Lord is coming back. All right, as you sheeple who who don't believe the Bible, they know. All right, but so they gonna but they gonna do this. They're gonna do this. All right, exactly when the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahshua makes them do it, and not a and not a second sooner. All right, but yeah, they're gonna be doing miracles out here with these chips. You know, again, Esau is gonna be causing the blind to see. You're gonna have the men of the Lord out here doing miracles too, healing, you know, as well in righteousness. But you're gonna have these devils. You know, again, with these brain chips, okay, and these implants, you know, you know, making people, you know, fall for this. You know, it talks about that in uh, Revelation chapter 13 and verse 14. It talks about them being deceived, all right, by the means of those miracles, all right, which this madman uh, uh, has the power to do, all right? But let me read Revelation 13 and 16. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Look. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. That's everybody. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right? Karagma. The sea hub. All right? And that no man might buy or sell, verse 17, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. That's right. So... When it talks about causing you to do something, he's he going to force you to do it. Otherwise, you won't be able to operate within his society. So the time is short. This is just a quick, you know, another another update, man. I'm going to stop the video. Go on, watch this uh, interview. Okay. The time is here, man. Repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Lord willing, you was edified with that. I want to say shalom.